it's a common myth that it's experienced more often with older adults, but it's actually an experience that's common among young people as well as adults of all ages. It's an experience of emptiness, of looking for something outside of oneself that can be fulfilling and to make us feel whole and complete. Perhaps it's looking for companionship or friendship or for love. The experience I'm talking about is loneliness. And, you know, we've all been lonely. In loneliness, we don't feel complete in ourselves. We feel isolated and fragmented and have this sense that someone or something outside of ourself is going to make it better for us. We often think of loneliness in terms of being alone, but we can experience loneliness even when we're with other people or in a crowd of people. That's because loneliness isn't about the physical proximity of other people. Instead, it's about experiencing a kind of connection where we find ourselves respected and appreciated. And that's really what we're looking for, someone to appreciate us when we're lonely. Now, here's something interesting. On the one hand, we associate loneliness with being alone. But on the other hand, there's another experience that happens when we're alone. That's an experience of wholeness, of being complete, of, of being at peace and content in oneself. That's the experience of solitude. In many ways, loneliness and solitude are the opposites of each other. Loneliness is about that feeling broken apart, about not connecting, about feeling isolated. Whereas solitude is about the experience of feeling whole, complete, all one within oneself. And it's a wonderful kind of feeling. I know that I am most likely to experience loneliness when I'm overly tired, when I'm emotionally drained, and when I'm generally out of sorts and out of balance with my life. Loneliness for me is a signal that something isn't right about the way I'm living, that I'm out of balance, and that what I need to do is take better care of myself, get some rest, eat well, and do my spiritual practice. And it's difficult to do spiritual practice when you're feeling lonely. That's because when you're doing spiritual practice, you're choosing to be alone, to be by yourself. But it's actually how you break through loneliness because you move into the experience of solitude. If I don't work through my loneliness, I find that I just become brittle and angry and very irritable. But the experience of solitude, which is really nurtured through regular spiritual practice, helps prevent any of that from happening. Spiritual practice enables us to become used to being in solitude with ourselves, to be used to experience a sense of wholeness and completeness, to find a sense of fulfillment in who we are, and in doing so, not only connect with ourselves, but connect with other people, our community, and our environment. So again, I think it's important to remember that loneliness and solitude, while they're opposites, are very much related. And learning to nurture solitude in our life can really help limit the impact that loneliness has on us. Thanks for your time and for listening today. Please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I hope you'll like this channel and even hit the bell so that you're notified with when more videos are available and leave me some comments so that I can respond to you.